Good afternoon, guys. Welcome back to the channel. My name's Lurg. Well, oh god, it's interesting. It's very, very interesting. Listen, guys, if you could really help me out, if you are watching and you do enjoy the series so far, if you could please smash the like button for us, that really does help getting found during the algorithm. YouTube can be discoverability can be a little bit iffy at times, in honesty. And if you're new around here and you, you've watched a few of the videos but you've not yet subscribed, if you want to hit the button for me and not the bell, that'd be grand. Obviously, you get notifications then when videos go live. We do drop videos every Monday, Wednesday and Friday at half past three in the afternoon. So hopefully, we can just get a little bit of progression. So, how are we doing in terms of our season? We had a little bit of a sketchy, sketchy period, but we've come through it. And we're in a fantastic position now, so let's have a look, shall we? So, you were last with us for the Charlton game where we drew 0-0. We followed that up with a very good win against Barnsley, 2-0. We then beat Luton, 2-1. We then lost to Fulham in a game, honestly, where we shouldn't be losing. Look at the, <laughs> the match stats. I mean, we should have at least gained a point out of this game. So, we dropped three points there massively. However, in balance in saying that as well, we just beat Brentford 4-1, which looks on the face of it a very, very good result. However, if you come in to see what the match itself was like, yes, we did dominate possession. Uh, Brentford went uh, up early and then kind of sat back for a long period of time. But it was a very, very even game. Like, Brentford could have been... 3-2, 4-2 up at half time. It was just one of those games that were very, very even. We took our chances, they didn't take theirs. So we lost three points in one game, or at least two points, should I say, because we should have at least drew with Fulham. But realistically, I feel like the, the Brentford game should have probably finished level. Like So we've gained points there. So we've kind of petered out. We've, we've evened it out a little bit. Then we played Reading 2-1. Very, very good result for us. Uh, obviously, this was in the league as well. Game that we absolutely dominated. And I do mean we really dominated this game. Uh, a game we went behind, like against a run, runner play. Um, caught us on a counter-attack, finished it beautifully. Changed things around a little bit, went to a 4-2-3-1. And we come back and secured the dub. So, we're looking good. In terms of the championship then... That leaves us currently lying in top spot, nine points clear. And as you can see throughout all of the uh, player stats, for goals, average ratings, assists, player of the matches, unfortunately yellow cards as well, because Jacob Davenport loves to get stuck in. Um, we're kind of there or thereabouts with everything. The only thing that we're not there with yet is clean sheets for Felipe. But in that Brentford game, he made some fantastic saves. So, we're looking good. I mean, there's not long left of the season now. Obviously, there are still games to go. But if we don't get promoted from where we are at this position in time, you've got to consider it a really bad season. Like, it's a great season for us if we make the playoffs. We've made a lot of progression. But from where we are and how we've been playing, if we don't go up automatically now, that's that's really bad. Like, we've bottled it. So, without further ado, let's get into the game today at Reading in the FA Cup fifth round and see if we can progress to the quarterfinals. Right, so here we are for the game at the Majeski Stadium. Then you will notice that we have done a full rotation of the squad because we need people to be fit for the next game as well. Obviously, the league is very important to us. I'd love to get it through to the FA Cup final. If we could somehow win winning the FA Cup this season as well as being promoted, what a great first season that would be in the Premier League. Obviously, it's a massive, massive ask. However... Wolves have just not topped them out of the out of the cup, so that is a huge plus. And one of the big boys gone. Uh, Leeds are playing Fulham today. If Fulham can somehow get a result against Leeds, then that's massive. Another Premier League team out of the running. So we are going with Felipe in goal, Beck, Gilchrist, Bennett, and Henderson at the back. Dixon, Bonner, and Pecci in the middle. 
with Holmes and Ibe just behind Geo and Tong. Hopefully, guys, we can get a real good result here. And especially after just beating them as well from being behind. So, might have knocked their morale a little bit in the way that they play. They may, however, put out a full-strength squad side. We just... The league has got to be my focus. As much as I'd love to get the cup under our belts or go further into it, literally, the league has to be our focus. Um, we've got nothing to lose here. Really, I, after our last game against them, I don't understand why that's even an option. So, we come into the game then. Oh, I just want to win. <laughs> like, that's the truth is, I just want to win. I'd love to, I'd love to progress to the quarterfinals. Felipe then is going to be taking a short goal kick. Plays it to Reese Bennett, who unfortunately goes long far too often. It's played to Jordan Ibe over the top for Tong. Tong's in here, and oh, it's not the best of finishes from Rob Tong, but he's there. Corner comes in then. Ibe for the delivery. It's headed away. Thomas does get the ball. It's two against four here. So we, oh, Holmes could be off. He's not off. It's not even a yellow card. That's good for us. Very, very uh, shaky start here. And in all fairness, Reading have been the better team. And this is not really what we want to see. Leonardo then throw on the left-hand side. That's a Mundell. Leonardo pumps it forward. It's headed down to Richards. That's really nice build-up play here from Reading. A great interception from Alfie Gilchrist, but it drops back to Rico Richards. And we are 1-0 down inside 20 minutes. And just not very good. Um, we may have to make some changes. Reading very, very, very much so the better team at the minute. But again, the, the focus has all got to be, it's all got to be on the league. Like, it's so important. If we can guarantee ourselves Premier League football next season, that opens up a new world to us completely. Lovely header down here. Jordan Ives inside and Jordan Ives does equalise. 1-1, one, one, 30 minutes on the clock. Geo with a really nice header there. That, that was beautiful. Then it sees him, hits it up. Geo just down to Jordan Ives. And Ives does really well here. Goes past his man, lovely. Takes it near, near post. Maybe Anderson should do better. But we will take that. But we are on the back foot, which is something that we don't like to see. And I'm not overly happy with. If we can see it out to a half-time, I will change things up. Bennett heads it away then. Ajara is tackled by uh, Jordan Ibe as Geo runs forward now down this right-hand side. And yes, I'm aware of the fact I said runs. <laughs> Henderson plays it in. Oh, it's played away. Walker's going to launch the counter-attack. Walker plays it into Rico Richards. Rico Richards again. Goes past Alfie Gilchrist again. But Felipe is equal to the effort, which is quite quite wet, really, in, in comparison. Headed away, then. Gio is going to get this ball. Can we get a counter-attack going? He picks out the pass. He does get Jordan Ibe. But Ibe is on this right-hand side. There are two players in the middle in Tong. And I believe that was Holmes. But, unfortunately, can't get a cross in as Labala then comes forward. A great interception by Alfie Gilchrist. It's really unfortunate when your players make tackles in these positions. That's a beautiful ball and a beautiful goal. Make tackles in these positions, and the the opposition players always seem to react quite to the to the second ball. Um, I don't know whether that's an AI match engine thing, but it happens far far too often. So you make really crucial interceptions, and then it falls back to them anyway, like it never happened in the first place. And unfortunately, I mean that was a really really nicely worked goal there. Once they got the ball back, we have had two shots on goal, two shots on target. Reading by far the better team. So we are going to say, I'm far from pleased with what I've just seen. We are going to switch it up to the 4 2 3 1 because I think we need to. Uh, Geo. Geo can't really play in the centre, but he can play out on the wing and Jordan Ibe can play on the inside. Pecci, I don't think he's good enough, honestly. He's playing on a 6.4 as well. So we bring on Dion McGee. Uh, Alfie Gilchrist is having a terrible game. It's never good to sub off your captain, but he's got to go. And we've made two substitutions at half-time then. So that's very, very early into the game. But we need to try and get ourselves back into this. However, if we do lose, it's not the end of the world. 
But I at least want to put a, a performance in so that we're not completely outplayed here. Rico Richardson again. Dixon Bonner does get the ball away. So, uh, it's not. Considering how our form has been and how we've been playing, again, it's just not in line with it. It's like every time the camera's on the guys, they just shy away from the performance. And we are awful here today. Like, there are just nothing. Samuels with the ball. It's hit away by Dixon Bonner. Morgan Tongnan does get the ball. Can he cut inside? No, he goes for the near post. I expected him to come back in on his right foot there, go across the face of goal, and he didn't. And we're just not having a good day at all. It's not a good day at the office. Uh, one last substitute to make. Holmes is having a shocker of a game. Tong's having a shocker of a game. The thing we bring on Keon Atete, and we push Tong out onto the right, uh, the left hand side, and see if we can get anything out of this. Obviously, I've said it a couple of times. The league is going to be our focus, but I expected a much closer game than this today. And in truth, Reading are very good value for their lead. So, a difficult one, boys. <laughs> it really is. Uh, oh, and that's a lovely goal from Rico Richards there. That is going to be the game, unless we really pull something out of our bums. Um, beautiful delivery. I mean, can't even blame Felipe there. That was just top being lovely goal. Aye, 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 aye. Uh, we are going to berate the entire team, though, because their performance today has not been good enough. <laughs> Nowhere near the performance levels that we'd expect. So, Reading are through to the quarterfinals. That's us out. Uh, I'm not going to say that I'm pleased with that, despite your, uh, despite your, the result. I'm pleased you know the performances were terrible. Our assistant manager at times is very, very questionable. Right, we will be back in the next game against Hull at the Bank Stadium in just a moment. And here we are then for the game at the Bank Stadium against Hull. You will notice a very familiar looking side apart from Dixon Bonner who comes in for the suspended Davenport. We have got Felipe, Giles, Giles? Giles Gilchrist, Davis, Gerardo, Dixon Bonner and Sparrow with McGee and Cornick on the wings, Atete and Mokhtar up front. While we're mentioning Dion McGee, look at this. Uh, if we go into history, a player who we got on a free transfer has now made 175 appearances for the club, 39 goals, 75 assists, an average rating of 7.3. Over the case of, what, four, five seasons? Five seasons? Just phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Obviously, we know that Joe Sparrow as well has been instrumental to us coming up the leagues too. Obviously, he was already at the Moors when we come here. But... <laughs> he's played a lot of games for us from there to there. Oh, he won't even let us do that. So, just two players that we really, really can't thank you enough, honestly. Like, they've, they've progressed with us, obviously. Instrumental in our rise to the top. And we're hoping that we can obviously get to the Premier League and get them to the promised land. Um, I'm confident of a victory over Hull here today. We really, especially after that last performance of Reading, which was very toothless, there was no nitty-gritty about us. We didn't go about our business as we normally would, so I would expect them, obviously being our, our first team team as well, I would expect them to be much, much better today. And that's exactly what we have told them. So here we are then. We have got as well, keeping an eye on the score lines, West Brom are away at QPR. Blackburn are currently beating Stoke 2-1 after five minutes. What is going on there? Um, we're on top of Hall here at the minute, but not getting anything for it. Goal kick's taken then. It's going to be Giles. Giles plays the board well out wide. Mokhtar is going to get there though. Uses his pace. Plays inside to Dion McGee. McGee goes past his man, tries a low-drilled cross, but unfortunately can't find the Tete. And Dixon Bonner just dispossessed far too easily there. Michael now then gets the uh, tackle in. And Dixon Bonner makes two really good challenges, one after the other, to make up for his mistake. But again, with the, this is what I was saying in the last game. Like If you watch the build-up play here, Dixon Bonner makes two very good interceptions. First one, and then the second one's a sliding tackle. So he's there behind. Just... The AI at times really does have me questioning things, but that is 1-0 to Hull. 
and it's not a good start to the day, is it? I'm like, come on. Uh, straight away, we're going to demand more here. As free kick comes in, and maybe a Tete just over the bar. Felipe then with the goal kick. Davis takes it. He goes long towards the Tete, who does find Dixon Bonner to Mokhtar. Mokhtar plays it through to McGee. McGee can't get past his man at the minute. His man's got McGee in his pocket. And Davis plays it long. Why are we playing long balls? It really annoys me. Gilchrist then to Davis. Back to Felipe. Out wide for Cornick. Heads it down for Sparra. Sparra's playing very, very deep. Cornick goes past his man. Lovely though. Can't go past the second one, but Gerardo does get there. Plays it back to Cornick. It's in for Mokhtar. And how does he miss from there? What was that? He's like two yards out. Uh, Michael heads the ball on. Felipe is obviously going to collect it. And this had better be a really good counter from us here. Because we're just we're not doing anything. Lueki then plays it inside to Aitken. Tete is tackled by uh, Gerardo. He passes it to Tete. Cornick comes forward. Lovely run by Cornick, lovely ball across, and Mokhtar's there for a very easy tap-in, and the record is being set straight. Thank goodness for that, because it was a little bit worrying. Cornick does really well here, does Harry. Beautiful ball across the box, very well timed, and Mokhtar's just got the easiest goal that he'll ever score. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Now, we've got to make sure that we turn this domination into three points here because we're just not looking fantastic at the moment. Uh, Blackburn, it's worth noticing, are now 2-2 with Stoke and West Brom are 0-0 with QPR. So as it stands, we're still nine points in front. If we can get a victory here, that will stand us in very good stead. Now, we've played well, but we haven't played well enough, so I'm going to tell them I am far from happy with what we've just seen. Like, at home... Especially against the team bottom of the table and really struggling, just come up from League One. We should be absolutely decimating these if we want to be a Premier League team. And in all fairness to Hull, they haven't given a bad account of themselves at all. Atete brings the ball forward here. He's got Cornick in front of him. He does actually use him. I didn't think he was going to. Cornick tries to square it across again, but the, the defender there just knocks it into the, the path of Diallo. Really nice interception as Sparrow comes forward. Cornick plays it forward for McGee. McGee can't get there. Atete is going to recycle it. What a poor pass was that key on Atete. And now it's a four versus four situation, but Dixon Bonner does get the ball. Lovely. And our passing, something that has been our strongest point in our game at the moment. Today, loads of wayward passes in the build-up play to goals. To goals, to gan To chances. Words, please, come out. <laughs> And it's just a nightmare. Balls play forward to Mokhtar. Can't get it. Diallo does come and intercept very, very nicely. So we're putting them under the cosh here a little bit, but not getting anything to show for it. As Keon and Tete, it's just wide. And this feels like it's going to be one of those frustrating days where it's just not quite going your way. Uh, Dixon Bonner is absolutely shattered in the centre of the park as well. I might change it up a little bit here, to be fair. In fact, that's what we'll do after this chance. And Fraser then, on this right-hand side, does get the ball back in across. Oh, and that's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Lovely crossing. Should have been dealt with better. Defender and goalkeeper caught in no man's land. And a nice header by Aitken. Just knocks it down. I mean, he's got two defenders on him. Wonderful cross. Uh, it's Scott who knocks it down for Aitken, sorry. And it's... <laughs> That was a nice goal. I mean, you have to give credit where credit's due. But that is not good enough for us. So, here's where we make the changes. Um, McGee's not going to be a ball-winning midfielder because he's not that type of player, but we can put him on the box-to-box. -box. Dixon Bonner is going to come out for Tong. We are going to go into a 4-2-3-1. Atete and Mokhtar are both playing well. Uh Cornick's playing well as well. So where do we place Mokhtar? That is the question. It feels a little bit unfair to bring him off. But Cornick has been really good on that right-hand side. 
I think the play that we make here is we take off Joe Keon and Tete for Jordan Ibe and we bring Ibe in behind here. And we try and get at least a point out of a game that we've absolutely dominated. Uh, I am going to demand more straight out of the squad. Oh, come on. Other results then are going our way as well at the moment. It's headed in. Uh, delivered in. Gerardo then gets it back to McGee. Lovely ball over the top for Morgan Tong. And trying to cut back every tie. So weak on this left hand side. Lovely ball over the top for Kumwenda. And Kumwenda's through. 3 1. Oh, caught on a counter attack. Delightful move from Hall. Terrible, terrible move from us. Um, Morgan Tong there completely to. To blame, and as we say, that other results that were going our way are no longer, as you've just seen in the bottom corner there. West Brom have taken the lead against QPR, so that's going to knock our um, lead down in the league table to just six points. Ah, uh, how have we not got anything out of this game? Jordan Ive, then he's got Tong in support. Oh, lovely. Tong's got plenty of time and space. Why are you shooting from there when you've still got 15? <laughs> Sparrow then with the corner. Floats in. Mokhtar can't get onto it. Michael and Sparrow are racing for the ball. Sparrow does get there first. Plays a lovely ball through to Mokhtar. Back to Giles. Can he get the cross in? He does and apparently it just doesn't come to anything. Because why would it? <laughs> ah! um, we give him a little bit of encouragement. We know that we're not getting at least a point out of this game now. In a game that realistically we have well and truly dominated. But it's a case of they have taken their chances. We haven't taken ours. Mottar shoots at the near post. Diallo has played very, very well today. I mean, he's had 22 shots at his goal, but only eight of them have been on target, which is really appalling. And we have dropped three massive, massive points there. And the team haven't even really played badly. I mean, XG 3.05. 24 shots on goal, 9 on target. That's where we've really let ourselves down. Just not good enough, boys. Uh, and we're going to thrash the arms and say exactly that. So, that leaves us still top of the table, but out of the FA Cup, <laughs> and no longer 9 points in front, only 6. So, we was very excited about the start of today, and we've ended up with two horrible, horrible games on the live comp. Um... That's the way it goes, though. You know, you win some, you lose some. We should have won that game against Hall. Like, there is just no two ways about it. We should have won. Um, we will be back then on Friday, and we will be showing... I don't want to go too far ahead in case we do get, like, promotion status. So, we'll come back for Brighton and Millwall. And then on Monday... We'll go for Nottingham Forest and a season review, I think, unless we're already promoted. We'll see how it goes, but we will definitely be back for Brighton and Millwall on Friday. Thank you for your continued support, guys. Really do appreciate it. Have a good afternoon.